In this video, we'll be looking at the Bruja boil kettle. We'll be looking at the various features and fittings of the Bruja boil kettle, and we'll be showing you how to set it up so that it's ready for brew day. The Bruja boil kettle is made with 1.5 millimeter thick, 304 food grade stainless steel, and it has a mirror polish finish. In looking at the Bruja boil kettle, we'll be starting with the features on this side of the boil kettle, and we'll be moving around to the other side. The first thing you notice with the boil kettle is that it has a drop handle. The drop handle is convenient because it gets out of the way. When you need it, you just pull it up. When you don't need it, it's not sticking off the side, getting in the way. Down here at the bottom, we have a two inch ferrule. This ferrule and a second ferrule like it on the back side of the boil kettle, the other side, are for inserting heating elements. We won't be looking in detail at how to install a heating element in this video as there's another video that deals with the heating elements installation. In the event that you do not want to use an electrical heating element to heat your vessel, each Bruja vessel comes equipped with a standard two inch cap that you can close that port off in the event that you don't want to use it. Moving around the vessel towards the front, we have a port down at the bottom. This port is for introducing cold water into the jacket of the vessel. One of the very special features of the Bruja boil kettle is that it comes with not just a single layer of steel, but two layers of steel. And the distance between those two layers is about a centimeter. This creates a sealed jacket through which you can introduce cold water for chilling your wort when you're finished with the boil. All that you need to do for connecting the jacket is put on a tri-clamp hose barb, connect the hose from your cold water source like your kitchen faucet, run it into the bottom of the jacket, it fills up that one centimeter cavity that's all the way around the jacket, picks up heat from the wart as it rises up, and exits on the opposite side here at the top and goes down to the drain carrying the heat from the wart with it. The jacket on the Bruja boil kettle means there's less hardware that you need to purchase and it's going to give you the very best sanitation possible. Moving around to the front of the boil kettle, we have two ports. The top port is for the insertion of your thermal well. The thermal well is just a sealed tube that enables you to stick the probe of a, of a temperature gauge or of an electronic sensor into the boil kettle so that you can be reading the temperature at all times. In addition to the thermal well, each Bruja boil kettle comes equipped with a large dial gauge thermometer that just screws into the thermal well. The next piece of hardware that you're going to install is the pickup tube. The pickup tube has a bend near the end of it and it reaches down to the bottom of the vessel so that you're able to pick up the maximum amount of wart from the bottom of the brew kettle without having to tip it. Very easy to install. You just slide the pickup tube through like that and attach the clamp. Next to the pickup tube you will install a sanitary valve. The sanitary valve is called sanitary because this clamp fitting here enables you to take the entire assembly apart in a couple of seconds to make sure that you have very clean conditions. In standard ball valves you're not able to remove the side housing of the ball valve and wart tends to get trapped behind the ball valve. Bacteria will start to grow behind the ball valve and it is very hard to clear it out. Attach the valve like that. And the final piece of hardware that goes on the front is another hose barb. This hose barb connects the hose to take the wort, once it's chilled, from your boil kettle out to your fermenter where you're going to pitch the yeast. On the far side of the boil kettle we have two more ferrules. The top ferrule is for the jacket. Once the water has come in at the bottom it rises up 
on the inside of the jacket, taking the heat through the inner wall, away from the wart, cooling the wart, and it leaves here as heated water and goes to your drain. This other port here is a second heating element. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to go into more detail in another video about how to install heating elements. The reason why we have put two ports on the boil kettle is so that you are able to install heating elements and use the kind of heating element that just operates off the standard electrical outlet that's found in every kitchen in the country. On the inside of the boil kettle, there is a stainless steel ruler with water level markings on it so that you can tell throughout your boil what amount of wort you have in there. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any additional questions that you would like to ask, we'd be happy to answer them. Please send us your questions using the form on the About Us page.